of these three elements, the customer, your employees, and this ownership uh, philosophy or approach to the decision making, what do you find is typically out of balance when you're consulting with different clients? Is it the ownership angle? Well, it's not necessarily, larger corporations, bigger companies, it, it could be that. When you're dealing with small business owners, sole proprietors, many times it's the, it's the people side of it, right? Because if you think about it for a second, I'm a small business owner, and the first big decision I have to make is adding the first person. Well, what what's my strength? My strength as a small business owner, no one knows the business better than I do, no one knows the customers better than I do, no one's more committed than I am. What's my weakness? No one knows the customers better than I do, no one's more committed than I do. So they, 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 have, they have the acting like an owner down. They have, you know, think like a customer. What they miss is making your people feel like valued individuals. When I hire you, I have to give you authority that goes with the responsibility. I have to be willing to allow you to make decisions. I have to be willing to allow you to be that employee that that feels valued. And I think that's the hard part with small business owners is adding that first employee, then add the second employee. How do I, you know, the training that goes with that, potentially something to get larger than succession planning. So in, in the small businesses, I find that the people sometimes are the, are, are the issue that kind of get lost in this balanced leadership. It's not because they're not good people to work for or they're not caring owners. It's just that ability to, to have the authority equal the responsibility for those people that you're hiring. 